Okay, let's talk about how to solve a problem like the following. And it says three times a number plus two is 32. So what is the number? Now, a lot of you out there will kind of just think about this and be like, mm, you know, do some mental uh, guessing and checking and you can kind of figure it out. But uh, the goal of this particular video is to be able to use algebra, okay? And we're gonna talk about some important algebra skills that you definitely need to know. And uh, namely, what we're gonna be doing is translating here. We have a, a sentence, right, uh, in English, all right, or any language, written language. So we have English, and what we wanna do is translate this to algebra. And I'm gonna be making some additional videos on this uh, skill. This is absolutely necessary. So we're gonna talk about uh, how we do this and this particular problem. This is a pretty easy problem. And again, some of you out there could probably just figure this out on your own by you know, uh, thinking about it. And that's perfectly fine. But really the main goal of uh, this problem is to talk about um, translating from a verbal English sentence into algebra and then obviously how we uh, solve these type of problems. So we're gonna to get to this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher and over several years I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Of course, I'll let you be the judge of that. If you want to, you can check out my math help program following the link in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses. I have all the main courses like pre-algebra, algebra one, Geometry, Algebra 2, I'm going to be launching pre-calculus here uh, shortly. Uh, all my courses have taken me years to construct because they're really unique in the sense that they're extremely comprehensive. I just don't give you quick tutorial videos. I teach you how to solve thousands of problems within each of these courses. So you're really, really going to learn a ton of mathematics. But uh, outside of my main courses, I have a lot of specialty courses in the area of test preparation. So if you're preparing for a test uh, like the GED, high set, uh, SAT, ACT, uh, maybe the TEAS, nursing entrance, a teacher certification, CLEP exam, AccuPlacer, Alex. <laughs> There's a ton of uh, tests that uh, people take uh, that have mathematics on these tests. And so a lot of people are studying math outside of a math course. So if you, that's you, just go to my site and check out my full course catalog. I should have what you're studying, uh, preparing for. If I don't, um, drop me a line and I'll give you some guidance or just uh, develop your course. Now, additionally, I do a lot of work with independent learners like homeschoolers. I have a great homeschool learning program. So if you are a homeschooler, I uh, definitely want to check out my program. And then obviously I help those of you who just need help in mathematics. But one of the things that, uh, you know, obviously if you're in a course, right? So this uh, particular subject here would be pretty appropriate for like a pre-algebra, algebra one type of course. It's kind of a typical problem that you might uh, find in the beginning of the course. So if you're struggling in your math course, definitely check out my uh, math program. But one of the things that I need to stress to you, if you're trying to improve in math, and I assume that you are by uh, virtue of you watching this video, the main thing that you need to be focusing on is your notes. I kind of call it my golden rule of math. Over decades of teaching mathematics, one thing is apparent to me, those students who take excellent math notes almost always do very well in their math grades. And the reverse is true. Those students who like to uh, look at their cell phone, talk to their friends, all the things that I did, you know, there's enough distractions. I mean, back in the good old days when I went to school, uh, I'm talking like high school in the 1980s, we didn't have cell phones, at least not ones that we can put in our pocket and, you know, text, all kinds of stuff like that. I mean, this thing right here, this device, it's awesome, but it's extremely distracting, okay? You have to remain focused uh, to be successful in mathematics and evidence of doing so and being engaged and focused is your notes, okay? So just trust me on this one. Been doing this for a long time. If you work on improving your notes, everything will get better for you. But in the meantime, you probably need something to study from. So I offer detailed comprehensive math notes to include pre-algebra, algebra one, geometry, algebra two, and trigonometry. You can find links to those notes in uh, the description of this video. Okay, so again, the main uh, idea, the main skill that I want to kind of really emphasize here is that we can, uh, we need to know how to take a verbal sentence here that we're talking about. Uh, sentence uh, written in English, but any language, okay, and translate it into algebra, basically a uh, variable statement. So effectively, what we're going to be doing is we're going to go be going from verbal 
to variable, all right? That's what we need to know how to do. And in order to do that, we, we need to kind of understand and break apart keywords and terms, okay? So if you think you know how to do this, I always encourage uh, those of you out there to pause the video and see, you know, if you can tinker around with it a little bit. But the main uh, idea here is that mathematics is a language, okay? So you're going from English, okay, or verbal language to mathematical language. You can translate between the two and you need to know how to do so, okay? So here we're going from verbal to variable, but I could very well uh, have wrote something algebraic expression. I'd say, you know what, write me a uh, verbal sentence that is equivalent to that variable sentence. So you got to know how to translate between these two. This is a key fundamental skill, especially when you're talking about solving word problems. And with everyone's favorite topic, you're like, word problems. I love word problems. I know you do. But um, by the way, uh, in terms of word problems, I've been doing a lot of videos lately uh, on various word problems. I'll be posting more, uh, more algebra type of problems, um, algebra word problems and other type of problems. So just look in my pre-algebra and algebra or algebra, all my playlists on my channel will have uh, various word problems. So if you're struggling with word problems, take a look at that. But what you need to um, uh, know how to do at a minimum when you're dealing with algebraic uh, word problems is to be able to handle a problem like this. So let's go ahead and break it down. So we got three times a number. So let's just start here. What we want to do is read this thing and then come up with an algebraic um, translation for it. So we have three. Okay, so hmm, what can I use for three? Well, how about we just use the number three for three, right? So that's three times, well, that would be this little operator right here, right? A number. So what is a number? How can I uh, write that using algebra? Well, you can use any variable. How about we use the variable n? Okay, you can use x, y, whatever the case is. So we have three times a number. Let's write that over here so far. So we'll write this as three. Now, notice here I have times. This is the um, the multiplication operator, right? If I'm gonna multiply, you see this, or you'll see like a little dot. But in algebra, we don't write um, multiplication that way. What we do is just, we take a number or whatever the case is, and we write them side by side. So three N means three times N. X, Y means three times Y, okay? So we don't use, imagine if we wanted to write three times X, it would be three times X. If we use that operator, it would be very confusing. So that's why we do not use that. Uh, operation, but you know, uh, mentally you can interpret that this is the operation multiplication, right? Three times a number. Okay, so uh, let's continue on. So three times a number plus, that's pretty easy, that's this operator, plus what? Two, okay. Now, this uh, word here is is going to always be um, equivalent to the equal symbol, okay? So we have three times a number plus two, that right there is, so that's the equivalent or equal symbol, is what? 32. So now the question is, what is the number, okay? And remember, the number we're talking about is n, so I wanna know what n is equal to, okay? So effectively, at this point, what I have is a nice algebraic equation. Now, hopefully, uh, most of you out there can solve this basic algebraic equation. If you can't, don't freak out. I have plenty of videos on uh, solving equations in my playlist again, but better yet, if you're struggling with this, I would suggest jumping into like my pre-algebra or algebra one course. You'll learn all this and uh, way more. Okay, so let's go ahead now and solve for n. And when I do that, I will discover what the number is. Now. Before I do that, a lot of you were probably thinking to yourself, hmm, I can kind of just figure this out by mentally checking some different numbers and values. So if you're saying, hmm, three times 10 plus two, that's 32. If you know already right now, the answer is 10, and the answer is 10, I'll just tell you that right now, that's very good. I mean, that's kind of mental manipulation, but this is a very easy problem. The whole idea, again, is to translate this into an algebraic equation and then solve. Okay, so let's get to it. We're gonna solve this equation for um, n. So first things first. Now, by the way, I'm gonna explain this in uh, pretty quickly, but if you really don't know what I'm doing here in terms of solving equations, you got to go back. There's just too much to talk about in terms of solving equations, but 
we want to get n by itself. That's the goal here. When I'm solving for n, I want to get n by itself, that variable over here, uh, equal to one number. So that's the goal. So first things first, I need to get this 2 uh, away from this 3n. So I'm going to subtract 2 from both sides of the equation, just like this. Now, when you're writing out your equation solving uh uh, you, you should basically try to model what I'm doing, okay? You shouldn't be, you know, take uh, skipping steps or doing anything like that. Let's get rid of this guy. He's a little distracting. Okay, so at this point, what you're going to be doing now is kind of adding down, okay? So this is going to be 3n plus nothing is just 3n. Let's write that here. Now, notice I'm kind of writing it over here because I know positive 2 uh uh, plus a negative 2, or 2 minus 2, is 0. Okay, so I don't need to write that 0. This goes away, and that's what I wanted uh, uh, to happen. But remember, in algebra, whatever you do to one side of the equation, you have to do the exact same thing on the other side as you're solving an equation. So we have 32 minus 2 is 30. Okay? So if your teacher is, you know, looking at your work, they're saying, okay, this, you know, uh, person understands this, very good. Now, even if you made an error, if you're showing me understanding, you'll get partial credit. Okay, so at this point, to solve for n, all I need to do now is divide both sides of the equation by 3. Okay, so that's 3 times n. So I'm going to do the inverse operation of multiplication, which is division. So I end up with n is equal to 30 divided by 3 is 10. Okay, so of course we already knew that the answer was 10. Some of you probably could already kind of figured that out by just doing some mental math. But again, the main idea here is to show you how we go from verbal, okay, to variable, and then we uh, solve equations, okay? This is a very typical algebra kind of problem. You need to know how to do this for sure, okay? So this is our answer. Now, if you're able to uh, do this translation, okay, and do this whole problem by yourself, then that's pretty impressive. I would certainly give you a happy face and an A-plus for today, and uh, let's give you 100% and a, yeah, one or two stars, okay? We don't want to give you too many stars because this is a fairly easy problem, but you know what? You definitely deserved... Uh, a nice 100% for this little pop quiz, if you will. But um, I'm going to be doing some videos, more videos, on how to translate um, from verbal to variable. Okay, It's an important skill, and you're not going to be able to, to really um, do well with word prom, algebra, word problems, if you don't have this skill down, um, you know, 100%. So, uh, well, that's basically it for today. Stay tuned because I'm going to be doing more practice problems in this. But if this was a pretty good problem, if you're like, okay, I got that, and it wasn't too difficult, or, hey, I learned something, I didn't even know, uh, either way, please consider smashing that like button. That helps me out. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for a long time, 10 plus years uh, at this uh, point. I literally have uh, well over, uh, I'm sure I have over a thousand videos, but this uh, point, uh, but I just, you know, I'm, I just love teaching math, okay? My whole mission is to try to explain things in a clear and understandable way. So if you're struggling in mathematics, you know, I want you to unstruggle, all right? Uh, so many people out there struggle in math, and it's it doesn't have to be that way, okay? And it could be very detrimental to your goals, whether it's not passing a particular exam, not getting into a particular college, being afraid to take calculus, you know, um, but because calculus is required for a major that you want to uh, take, there's so many uh, areas where math scares people away. And my job is to really say, you know what, enough is enough. Let's get you to learn math. But you got to put the effort in. You got to take great math notes, and you got to have uh, great instruction. So, um, uh, if you like my teaching style. I have plenty of videos, again, organized from basic to advanced math on my channel, but my best work will be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.